Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can automatically scan OneDrive file uploads for viruses, malware, and non-malware threats using the Cloudmersive Advanced Virus Scan API. It's important to note that as of now, you'll need to import this API into Power Automate as a custom connector using the Open API URL specification option, and I demonstrated that process in another video. I'm starting off on the flow diagram page with a blank automated cloud flow. In this flow, I really just want to accomplish two basic things. First, I want to make sure any files I upload to a particular folder in OneDrive are devoid of viruses, malware, and non-malware threats, and I want them to conform to a specific list of acceptable file types. Secondly, I want to delete any files that violate my folder's upload policy and leave everything else alone. To start, I'm clicking New Step and searching for the OneDrive connector. After I click on that connector, I'm selecting the When a File is Created trigger. From here, I can quickly navigate to the folder I want to apply this policy for and select it. Once selected, I can start configuring my advanced virus scan step. To do that, I'm clicking New Step again, and this time I'm navigating to the Custom Connector tab. As the name suggests, this is where all your custom connectors will show up after you create them. From here, I'm selecting the Advanced Scan Connector I created. Just to reiterate from earlier, the custom connector is easy to create with an Open API URL specification, and I posted another video demonstrating how to do that on this channel. From this connector's actions list, I'm selecting the first option called Advanced Scan a File for Viruses. Within this actions request body, I first need to configure the file content and file name inputs, so I'm using the dynamic content window to parse that information from my OneDrive trigger step. If I were to leave this connector the way it is right now, any new file upload in my OneDrive folder would be scanned for viruses and malware, but nothing else would happen. To configure custom policies against non-malware threats, I need to review and manage each one of the drop-down booleans on this list. These booleans let me implement policies against executables, invalid files, scripts, password-protected files, and several other non-malware threats. For now, I'm going to set all of them to no. This API performs in-depth content verification to detect these content threats, and if any are detected within a file's encoding, the file will receive a clean result false response from the API. This is the identical response a file receives when virus and malware threats are detected, so you can treat all threats exactly the same. Finally, at the bottom of the list here, I can use the Restrict File Types field to enter a comma-separated list of acceptable file extensions for my OneDrive folder. I'm going to choose to limit my uploads to docx, pdf, and xlsx for now. That means any files which don't pass a full content verification check against this list will receive a clean result false response as well. Now that my connector is fully configured, I want to make sure that any files which get that clean result false response are immediately deleted from the folder. To do that, I'm clicking New Step and selecting the built-in condition connector. In the Choose a Value field, I'm selecting the Clean Result option from the Dynamic Content window, and right after that, I'm setting that value equal to False. Below this, in the If Yes condition scenario, I'm clicking Add an Action and searching for the OneDrive connector once again. From the OneDrive Actions list, I'm searching for the Delete File action. To configure this action, I just need to select the File Identifier option from my trigger step via the Dynamic Content window. Since I don't want anything to happen when my files are clean, I'm leaving the If No scenario blank. Now I can save my flow and test my policies to make sure they work as intended. Once my flow saves, I'm clicking Test in the upper right corner of the page. After that, I'm selecting the option to trigger my flow manually. 
Since I'm working on an automated flow, Power Automate is going to wait for me to add a file to the folder I'm targeting in order to run the test. So now I'm going to jump over to that folder in OneDrive and start the upload process. I'm grabbing an XML file and attempting to upload it. This file isn't infected or dangerous in any way, but it does violate the file restriction policy I set because it's not a PDF, docx, or xlsx file. So I'll know my flow worked if it decides to delete this file shortly after I upload it. As expected, when I check back in on my flow, the test file triggered the if yes condition response, which means my file upload received a clean result false boolean from the advanced scan API. When I go back to my folder and refresh it, the file isn't there anymore because Power Automate automatically deleted it when the false response was triggered. There are other actions you can take here, such as quarantining your file in a zip archive, but deleting is always the best option to completely avoid unnecessary risks. Having a single, comprehensive, clean result value makes it easy to configure no-nonsense policies for any folder in your system. That concludes this demonstration. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to check back in on our channel for more Powered Automate connector demonstrations and tips.